Burkina Faso acting president Captain Ibrahim Traore, who seized power following a 2022 coup, has signed a new amended transition charter that extends the transition period to five years. The original charter called for the transition period to end in July 2024. Article 22 of the new transition charter states that the duration of the transition is set at 60 months starting from July 2, 2024. The provision also states that elections marking the end of the transition may be organized before this date line if the security situation permit. In September 2022, Traore announced on national television that there will be no elections in the country until the security concerns were addressed. He emphasized that elections were not a priority. The amended transition charter in Burkina Faso also includes several new provisions. For instance, according to Article 5, Captain Traore now holds the title of President of Burkina Faso, Head of State and Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces. Additionally, Traore, along with the Prime Minister and the President of Transitional Legislative Assembly, will be eligible to run in the presidential, legislative and municipal elections organized to mark the end of the transition period. An alarming pattern has emerged across West Africa where military forces have overthrown democratically elected governments, accusing them of breaking promises made to citizens. Burkina Faso has been caught up in this trend. In September 2022, the current military junta took part by ousting previous military regime under Lieutenant Colonel Paul Henry Damiba, which had itself seized control just eight months prior through a coup that removed President Rock Mark Cabo from his elected position. Following the latest coup, Captain Traore was appointed as the transitional president. However, since taking over, Traore's junta has grappled with addressing the very security issues cited as the rationale for its September 2022 power grab. Reports from Human Rights Watch depict a grim reality of worsening human rights conditions in Burkina Faso throughout 2023. The country experienced a sharp rise in fatal attacks carried out by the Islamist armed groups targeting civilian populations. While the military and pro-government militias engaged in abuses during the counterinsurgency operations, according to Human Rights Watch, conflict-related violence resulted in the death of nearly 7,600 people in over 2,000 incidences in 2003 alone. The conflict has forced over 2 million people from their homes since it began in 2016. So has President Ibrahim Traore extended the transition period because the security situation has not yet stabilized in Burkina Faso.